so you're going through this, right? And then your best friend is diagnosed too, or what? Oh tell me about your best friend. Yeah. Her name is Sandy. 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 I have to have a drink for this. Yes. Sandy. <laughs> she, um, I'll have a drink with you. <laughs> Um, so she actually had cancer like a few years before I even found out, which is so strange because like it was it's different cancers though. She had a rare cancer called um, soft po- soft part sarcoma. Okay, I, hope I said that right. Um, and it was it's a rare cancer. So basically, there was no cure for it, and they were just kind of like playing it by ear for years. And how old was she? She was the same age as me. So when she got it, she, she was like a probably little, was like um, nineteen or yeah, she like, was like nineteen 19. or eighteen when she mm-hmm. found out. And um, so we were like, you know, dealing with that. And then all of a sudden, I found out, and we kind of both looked at each other. Like, so you guys had cancer at the same time. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. And so where it was, you guys there to support each other? Yes. I would assume. So it was like different because like. I felt bad because, you know, with my, with leukemia, there was like a cure for her. It wasn't. And so it was hard because like, I hated that. Like I like had, you knew you were going to live. And right. And she, we weren't sure if she was. Yeah. So, um, but let me tell you, like, I, I don't ever wish this upon like a best friend group or anything, yeah. but like, if you were to go through something like that, like having your best friend, being able to understand like how you're feeling, of what medications they're giving you. Like, she gets it, yeah. you know? And, like, it was a special thing that we shared. 